Merry Christmas to my fabulous friends. I hope you're all well. My name is Tony Derrick and this is the How To Craft Network studio. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and say hello this afternoon. It's so cold. I hope everybody is safe, everybody is cosy and everybody is ready for Santa. Fingers crossed. If you're not, you better get a scoot on. It's not very long away. So if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you do like what you see, always pop us a comment underneath the live show. Give us a thumbs up. Click the bell for notifications. We are a fabulous channel that love to inspire one another and share the love of craft. And today is no different. <clears throat> I have a lovely show. For, <coughs> excuse me. I have a lovely show lined up for you all. And some of you have already shopped ahead, which is fantastic. But we have some back in stock items as well. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic time getting ready for Christmas. If you've got little ones, it will be extra special or grandchildren to be visiting uh, over the Christmas period. It's a fantastic time of the year to um, share the love, not only for craft, but with family. So if we have family members that maybe we're a little bit detached from or friends that maybe we've not spoken to for a while, this is the perfect opportunity this time of the year to reach out and just say hi. Merry Christmas. And it goes a long way. Trust me, it really, really does. So let's get together as a community and enjoy this festive period. On the counter, we have three boxes. Now, <clears throat> when I said to you on last week, our Christmas Eve boxes have landed. They have absolutely landed. And guess what? They are brand new products. Now, they are called Christmas Eve boxes because that's how we all relate to these boxes. It's like when you get your... PJs for Christmas. Tom's going to get them too. The night before, they put the clean PJs on ready for Santa to come and drop off the presents. It's like that, but unfortunately, we don't send boxes through the post. We're trying to be a little bit better on the environment, but equally, I didn't want it to just come in a plain old envelope, and these must go under your tree. No cheating, okay? So they are going to come in these fantastic Christmas envelopes. They're padded as well, so whatever is inside is going to be protected. So let's talk about what's going to be in the box. I know you're all talking. I know lots of you are talking before we went live. I'm halfway through a mince pie. The other half is just looking at me right there. I'm going to shove it in before I talk to you and say hello. Let's talk about the first item. Now, if you are wanting to shop ahead, you can absolutely do that. Okay, we've got various ways that you can shop on our website. If you are watching on our website live, all of the products are below as always, okay? But equally, if you're watching on YouTube and you're watching on catch up and things like that, you can always go and shop the show. The video never goes away, okay? We also have a fantastic QR code system for you as well. So if you do want to interact, you do want to get involved, you can scan that QR code and you will be able to shop the products in the show. So let's have a look at the first item. The first one is the dearest now if you do buy all three that's absolutely fine there are no products sort of duplicated so if you're treating yourself to all three you're going to end up with a lot of goodness under your tree and it's brand brand new never been seen before never been to tv and it's some of our most popular items so we have quattro d brand new and we have some hd 3d embossing folders brand brand new so what a lovely treat on christmas eve for yourself you don't have to open it on christmas eve maybe you're thinking do you know what nobody's bought me anything for christmas day i'm going to treat myself and it's still going to be a nice surprise because you've no idea what's in it and you can open it christmas day if you want to it's entirely up to you okay this is just us giving back these have been um brought here for you just in case you are on your own i do appreciate a lot of people are on their on their own and that saddens me very much and this is why year on year out stamps by me always encourage stay connected okay if you're just at home on your own there will be lots of other eureka fans sat at home doing exactly the same interact pop a comment on the eureka facebook and say hey guys anybody else home alone do you want to chat let's chat about I don't know. The, let's put the world to rights. Let's talk about the heating bills. Let's talk about the gift that I've just received from Stamps by Me. So please do stay connected. And if all else fails, reach out to me. I'm not saying I'll be able to message you back, but absolutely, as you all know, we are a group that stays connected and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So the first one is the one which has HD 3D embossing folder and a Quattro D. So if you are going to treat yourself, this has got it all going on. OK, the items are underneath the show, but you can scan that QR code on the TV, which is on your home device at home. And if you just pop in the box when it pops up, shop 
one this is we've tried to make it so easy for you ladies and gents shop one all of the products will be there including the prices as well our graphic system for our prices is not not working today hence the reason why tim's quickly sorted that out for you so we have one with a quattro d and a hd embossing folder our second one is a quattro d only so if budget doesn't permit for the both we have a single one here now the quattro d in this one will be different to the one in this one and then in this last one here we have hd 3d embossing folder and again it's a different one to what is in the first so you have three christmas eve i'm going to say envelopes because they are lovely padded christmas envelopes but when i refer to them as envelopes they are christmas eve gifts that traditionally would be in a box but i'm not sending them in a box because one it would be so expensive and two these will fit under your tree absolutely beautifully nobody else has done this don't tell anybody though because everybody will be doing it next year and i want you all to come back once you see what's in these so don't tell anybody <laughs> so those are your three christmas eve treats they are gorgeous let me tell you so moving down the counter very quickly <coughs> back in stock acetate you've all been waiting lots of you have already purchased it but maybe you've missed it over the course of this week they are back in stock and they work beautifully Woohoo! thank goodness so it's the infamous acetate with the hearts the stars the stripes the spots and the plane and basically it's 12 by 12 sheets and these make the most incredible boxes and i'm going to do a demo today to help you out so we have pink we have black choices of check them out on the website then we have the fabulous gold and then the silver absolutely stunning now if you want to step your cards up this year step your giftables up this year particularly in around the festive period this is brilliant and it's got clear in there as well so if you don't want any pattern you've got it covered there so have a look at those two and then lastly on the counter yippee today 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 box kit so you are all waiting for the box kit with the three 3d embossing folders and coordinating dies now this would be a lovely treat for Christmas. I'm so pleased we managed to get them back in before Christmas. So these are your 3D embossing folders with coordinating dies and that fabulous box kit, I think it's 35 pound. And if you do accrue those points on our website, you're gonna get it for a cheeky, cheeky price. Brilliant for Christmas gifts. Now, just a few things to tell you about. We are saying postage is just a nightmare at the moment it's it they're either collecting they're not collecting we're not sure what's going on we get told that it's getting collected it doesn't we get told it's not getting collected and it does it's all over the place at the moment so what we've decided to do is make our own decisions so as of tuesday we're saying as of this tuesday coming we're saying we can't guarantee for christmas and that's just us personally not royal mail not be dpd that's us just personally saying if you make any orders after tuesday they could come before christmas but we can't guarantee okay but any orders pre tuesday fingers crossed we will have to you before christmas so just so you have a little bit of a heads up i know a lot of companies are struggling with the delivery circumstances and things like that so up to tuesday if you want to order your christmas eve boxes you're probably going to get them in time any time after there we can't guarantee okay but we'll absolutely do our best Okay, and if you do want something sending quite quickly, DPD are quite reliable as well. So if you want to message us and say, could you please send it by DPD? I forgot my mother-in-law's, aunties, uncles, brothers, son's gift. Then we'll try and get it sorted for you. We also have our fabulous gift vouchers as well. So if you're thinking, do you know what, Crafty Friends, I think she's got everything you do, stamps by me, you, Tony Derek. She's got it all. She watches you every day. We do have the fabulous uh, vouchers on our website as well, which will be guaranteed delivery as well before Tuesday to pop under the tree for any loved ones, should you wish. But if you've bought and you've spent and you're done, brilliant. Don't worry about it. You can sit back, kick your heels and just enjoy the festive period. I'm going to wig my way over. I'm just going to shove that little bit of mince pie in my chops and I'm going to come and say hello. Give me a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is everybody excited? Is everybody excited for Santa? You know, I'll tell you in a second something. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
that took longer than anticipated. <laughs> so, thank you all for your patience while we've not been very well in the Tony, Tim and Tom household. What a nightmare. I've still got a bit of a cough, cold. I know everybody's got it. Thankfully, I wasn't ill through it, just an irritable cough and my skin is so dry, you know, from blowing my nose. But we're all good right here. I'll tell you a quick story. I've just eaten that mince pie. We're not allowed food or drink in here. Tim is very precious about the studio, so he's just given me the, he's just given me the eyes eating that mince pie. And I was supposed to half it with him and he got none. <laughs> so let's do a shout out. Angela, Bernadette, Karen, Marilyn, Heidi, Caroline, Angela, Charlotte. Come on, say hello to me, everybody. What's everybody doing? Who's excited for Christmas? Who's not so excited? Let us know. Let's get a feel for where everybody's at and let's um, <coughs> craft together. So I am going to use the acetate. I did have a couple of message people click that video request and ask for boxes with the acetate when it was back in stock. So that's what I'm going to do today. It is back in stock. Don't forget that box kit though, guys. Incredible value. I think it works out with your points at less than £30. Absolute steal for a, for a gift is that one. So, hi, Rihanna Richards. Fancy a mince pie now. Jan Harris, Margaret Smith, Denise Rigatano. I love to talk to my friends. Elaine Calderwood. Couldn't resist all three of the acetate. Oof. Well, it's going to have you covered for the year. And I think this is going to be my new obsession is this acetate. Now, so let's quickly just talk about it. I've just grabbed two sheets of the pink. Now, I have a whole bunch like tray down here from when we were live with Teresa. And I've literally just, rather than open anything new, I've just gone through it and stole, I can't steal off myself, but taken out a few of the bits and pieces to make something. So when you get this acetate home, please do, oh, Charlotte, please do remember it has that protective sheet on now if you remember this is why we couldn't send you the other one we couldn't get it off we couldn't get it off you watch now i won't be able to get this one off it has been checked it's fine so when you get yours home <clears throat> it has this like um protective sheet on it so it looks can you see how it looks a little bit milky on there but when you get yours home you just need to grab this little sheet here here we go look and you pull it away and it makes it absolutely crystal clear can you see the difference there it's so pretty, I cannot tell you. It's construction weight. You saw me on TV make cards with this, which was stunning. Now, I don't know where they are. I did say to Teresa she could take some home, though, so I think Teresa might have taken the cards to show her crafty friends, which is absolutely fine. So now you can see it's absolutely crystal clear. So I'll take it off this one, too. So all you do is sort of like, you know, like when you're separating something in your stash or... <clears throat> excuse me. And if you can't quite do it, just try another corner, excuse me. <coughs> this is why I couldn't do studio the other day. My cough is way better now than it was on Wednesday. I was coughing and sputtering all over. Has anybody else not been great? Oh, it's not a good sketch, is it? So all you do, and then this one here, look. And it's just so yummy. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a quick box. And this is the way that I do it, right? You know, I'm not really good with measurements at all. In fact, I'm absolutely pants at it. And you see that when we do albums and things like that. So what I've done here is I've got two sheets of the 12 by 12, <clears throat> 12, by 12 here. And they come with like this strip on. Let me just grab one with a strip on. This is the silver. It, they come with like this acetate strip on here with this perforation. All I've done is I've cut this branding off here, which just says Teresa Collins and what it actually is. I've just cut it away. It's just a little panel. So now I'm left with two decorative... Um, star panels okay both exactly the same size now to make a box base and a box lid you'll probably find that a lot of people say to you right you need to cut one at this size and one at three quarters of an inch shorter on one on the left and nine eight nine eighths of a oh. what I do is make sure they're both exactly the same to start with okay which they do look like they are take one of them just one of them Pop it in your guillotine and take a slither off the top and a slither off the side. Just take it off two sides. So let me just pop it in here. Look. So I'm going to take a slither off the side and I'll show you the slither. Oh, I can't see it. I'll show you the slither. So I'll take a slither off here. 
try and get them roughly the same size, turn it round and take a similar slither off the other side. And I, let me just see if I can show you the slithers so you know what I'm saying. Now, don't worry about it too much. The more that you take off, the more space you're going to have that your lid's going to be moving around, okay? That's, that's, it's no mistake if you don't. Let me just show you on the back of it. That's the slither I've taken off, look, each side. You see? Not much at all. Don't take it off all four sides. Just the top and just the side, okay? Nola, always excited for Christmas with a grandson. Charlotte's waiting for two packs to arrive. The girls are absolutely flying the way through the orders today, guys, to get them out the door. Keep your eye out for your, your, dispa <coughs> your dispatch notices, okay? The girls have been on it since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm like, come on, we need to get these out the door. So then everybody will have them under the tree. So now we have two pieces, okay? One slightly smaller than the other. A slither off the top and a slither off the side. So now you need a scoreboard. This is going to be a big box. Now you need to think about, well, <clears throat> how deep do I want my box? What's going in it? Some biscuits, a card, a packet of sweets, a pair of socks, <coughs> a tie. Anyway, so I'm going to do mine at one and a half inch deep. That's about the average size, I believe. So I'm just going to take my score tool and I've popped one of the sheets onto my uh, scoreboard. Here, look. And I'm going to score at one and a half. Now, when I say this is incredible acetate, it truly is. You do not get that awful, like, spidey web flare when you score this. It's really, really cool. So I'm just scoring at one and a half. I can't I try and demonstrate. Look at that crystal clear line. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I'm going to turn it this way and do the same. Absolutely love the magazine. Mary, did you enjoy it? Mary's saying, when do the new colours come out? They are gorgeous. They're here. Um, I'm just going to launch them in January now. So, not long, sweetheart. So, one and a half. Turn it around. So, one and a half all the way around. Oh, I'm pleased you like the magazine. I have a sample of magazine number two on my desk. She's so cool. Isn't it a great opportunity to do things like that? Practical publishing are so generous to allow companies like myself and other companies to, you know, grow their brand in this way. It's fabulous. So one and a half again. Like so. So I've got my sock. This is going to be a big old box. Somebody's going to get a big gift in this one. And then the second one. Oh, Rihanna's full of bugs. I got it from Tom. Tom picked it up at school as well, Rihanna. <coughs> not good at all. Sorry about the coughing. It's, not, it's really ugly, isn't it? Right. And then the second sheet, exactly the same. One and a half. I'll just give it a real good score. Like it. It'll just help me out because it is construction weight. And then one and a half. You could make an acetate card to go in here with lots of dimension. That would be quite cool. And then one and a half. <laughs> Karen, I'm desperate to get my hands on the new inks. You'll be having them very soon, young lady. So while I'm just doing this again, one and a half, a couple of updates then. This is the last live studio now until after Christmas. So if there's anything you need or want from us, um, please do let us know as soon as you can. So I'm just giving it a good old score, best I can. <clears throat> and now I've got my second sheet with that. It's just amazing. So this is a big box. But obviously, if you cut two 8x8 eight eight sheets and just took a slither off one top and side and then scored at one inch. Excuse me. They'd end up with a 7x7, seven seven, wouldn't you, with the one inch side by side. So super easy. Don't go into the mathematical side of it all, because honestly... Excuse me, it's just not needed. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, once it starts, once it starts. So what I'm going to do here is, what I am going to do, if at all possible, is I'm going to place my uh, Dirty Eureka underneath. I think the black is going to help me show you what I'm going to do here. So I like to sort of like taper off my corners. So I like to do like a line down, chamfer, I'm not sure what the correct terminology is it for. And then you can do it like this. So you get this like corner sort of design. You don't have to take as much off as that. I'll show you another way. So a line down. And then just from here, they have a more uh, a solid one. So it's totally up to you how you want to <clears throat> play your corner wise. There's a few options like so. I think the bigger you leave the flap, it's easier to get tape or glue. Now I use tape pens. But if you have a dry as clear glue, it also works for that too. So that's that one. Let's just set that aside. <coughs> and then bring in this one. So do all four. Oh, Merry Christmas, Charlotte, to you. Merry Christmas to everyone. Who's excited for my Christmas message? Oh, Val says what's in the boxes. So Val, it's a complete surprise. You'll, it's like kids. You don't get to see what's in your Christmas Eve box, Val. <laughs> it's a surprise, Santa. Come on. But I've told you that you're getting a brand new Quattro D and brand new HD 3D embossing folders. So. I just think, you know, it's, it's, yes, we are a company. Yes, we are here to sell you products. And yes, we are here to make money. We're a family company. But isn't it brilliant that the company sends you something that you can open? Don't cheat, though. So if you are on your own and you're not expecting a single gift from anyone else, you have something to open that is a complete surprise. That makes me very happy. And the price points are right from £12, and I think it goes right up to 35 40 then with your points off as well. So it's just an opportunity if somebody is at home on their own. And, <clears throat> you know, it's crazy because we are here to sell things, but I'm always conscious of, you know, who's not going to get a gift for Christmas? Maybe? I don't know. And we buy everyone gifts. I mean, everyone. Never have any money. So there we go. <clears throat> So then all I'm going to do here on those score lines is I'm just going to give it a good old score. It's so good, this. Totally unexpectedly good for me as well. Because the experience I've had with acetate in the past, just like stay clear, absolutely stay clear. Oh, Brenda, great question. Question, question. Did they get the answer about the competition? I haven't. But guess what? I have been on, it, on today saying... Like, I've put it as a final reminder. I'm like, I am getting shouted at. I blamed you all. I'm like, I'm getting shouted at. Please answer the questions. So I don't know if it's just because the person that does it is not here, but I've put on today about it. So as soon as I get an update, I'll let you know. So then we're just going to score all of the lines, which is the flaps too. So anybody who comments after this show, underneath this video, is going to get a Christmas present from me in this box. Just, just say hello or Merry Christmas or did you enjoy the show or are you waiting for your acetate? Whatever, I'm not precious about it. Pop a comment after I've gone off air underneath this video and I'll put a gift in this lovely box for you. How's about that? Let's do our other one. You have to wait till I've gone off air though. So again, our second one, score it on all of that. It seems really weird. It looks like I'm folding nothing. <coughs> For anybody that's just tuning in right now, they'll be like, what's she doing? <laughs> oh, Charlotte, who won the golden ticket? We have had a winner. We have had a winner. The lady's not brilliant with social media. She sent me a name and I have a picture. Um, I'm just waiting for authority to put it on social media. As soon as I get that authority, 
because you should just never presume that people want to be on social media. Um, as soon as I get that, I'll let you all know. But yes, and she's taking her friend, I believe, or it, she did ask her sister, but her sister's already on a cruise. Um, so she's taking a friend now. <clears throat> So then let's get this stuck together. Now again, I think I'm going to have to pull in my Eureka so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so let's get some tape. Hopefully this tape pen's not dried out. So all you do is you just take that little flap here that you've um, sort of cut away in the design. I'm just going to put... Has that got... See what I mean? Just grab another one, Tony. <coughs> Excuse me. Try this one. Here we go. Then you're left in this one. I don't think there's any left in that one. Put fourth tape pen next. It's a good job I have a lot in it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, here we go. And then all you do is you just take it and tuck it in to the score line. And then our next one. Now, this is the one that I didn't cut as thick. Can you see it's like a triangle on there? So if you are wanting to, let's just pop it in there for now. Make sure you stick it straight, Tony. There we go. Congratulations to the winner. Um, I think of the lady's name now. It's a lady we... I don't know if it's a lady we know or... If a name definitely rings a bell to me, ladies and gents. It might do to you. It'll come to me. As soon as it does, I'll tell you it. The name rings a bell. So that's one. Now, I'm not sure if it's my base or my lid yet because I haven't made the other, but we'll soon find out. So you can see... Absolutely gorgeous. So that's that one. Then we're bringing our second. Red tape, best on acetate. Yeah, the problem is that I don't like to pull the back off. I can't be bothered. I just want quick and easy, Caroline. Particularly when I'm live. I'm sure you all don't want to, want to see me picking tape off. I think these tape pens as well, when they get cold, they don't like it, do they? Val says, you just ordered open three. Hoping I get them on time. Royal Mail are horrendous around my way. Val, we are going to do our absolute best. And if we feel like anything's going to be cutting it fine, we're going to send on fast delivery as well. I don't want anybody to be without. So we'll do our best, darling. Right, so let's have a look here. Is this the top or the bottom? There we go, look at that. Just because we took away that little piece, fits beautifully. And it's, it's, it's hard, guys, and this is a 12 by 12 sheet. So <clears throat> let me just show you the one that I showed on TV. This is a littler one, look. Which I just put some flowers on. Look at that, that's the hearts in the gold. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. There we go. We'll get a good picture of this one for you, show you exactly what it's like. Oopsie 
laser. Sorry, that's my fault. Beautiful box. Yep, I'm going to put a gift in it for you someday as well, look. Absolutely gorgeous, eh? So to decorate this, you could absolutely put a ribbon around. So whoever's going to get this is not going to get anything big. It'll be, it'll be like a nut in a, in a chest. So now I think we need to decorate. I'll just quickly decorate the top if that's okay. We've got time. Yeah, I've got time. Although my son finished school today. So you, you take them to school for 9 8.30 and then they say, oh, pick them up at 11.30. And then you pick your son up and you say, oh, did you do anything special? You know, because we went out of our way to get you in school, drive home, put a bit of washing in, get back to school. Oh, yeah, I spent the morning colouring. Great. Great. Just what you need to hear. Now, I've got a whole bunch of my Teresa Collins stuff here. I honestly, it fills me, I can't say it fills me with joy because it doesn't, because I just have not had a minute to play with it. I still have, look here, my box is here with all of my papers. I just haven't had a minute. I'm going to make an album out of it, you see. I just haven't had a minute. I'm so annoyed. I think a lot of us get frustrated about time and things like that, don't we? But um, I'm just going to cut one of these panels very quickly. Just the time, isn't it? But over the Christmas period, if you've got your um, boxes, at least you know you're going to have something new to play with. If you do have the grandchildren or family around for just one of the days, then you're going to be able to play for the other days, aren't you? Um, so you've got something new to go at. Let's have a look here. Look at this. Oh, it's cool, doesn't it? Let's just move this. <coughs> Excuse you. And then... <gasps> all a bit exciting. And I'm just going to cut one thing and stick it to the front. So from that sheet here, these panels, which are delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Karen, thanks. You know, I'm studying here talking, thinking, what was the lady's name? What was the lady's name? Mary Irvine. Does anybody recognise that name? I do. Now, I'm using the Teresa Collins. It is available, but I'm sure you've all got enough paper to go at over this Christmas period to decorate your acetate boxes. Now, I'm not going to go up there because that is just too much of a big ask for me to cut into that. And do you know what as well? Mind you, I don't feel like I've come up for air since I came on air. Um, my wrist is still bad. What's all that about? Sometimes. So I'm just quickly going around this. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to put in the box for a winner. <laughs> oh, crikey. We are funny onions. We're funny onions. We're giddy kippers. What else are we? We're good at sharing the love of craft. And I'm going to cut this quickly, cut this butterfly too. Oh, did anybody answer my question? Carol, no, Quastra D, you haven't seen them, they're not on the website. Um, that was my question. Is anybody excited for the Christmas message? I know a lot of you screenshot it and save it year on year and go back and read my earlier ones as well. So who's excited for this year's? Very exciting. I know it's only a Christmas message, but it's so good. And a lot of thought go. It takes weeks to write the Christmas message. So this is that lovely panel. If anybody has got screenshots of our previous Christmas messages, do you want to pop them onto um, our Eureka fan page? 
for our new fellow crafters who maybe just joined recently. That would be lovely. They get a taste of what, what our values are as a company and how much we appreciate every single one of you. Obviously, I would colour that white with a pink pencil. Stop it from standing proud. Oh, look at that. We'll hide that bit of white with that butterfly. And then just see if we can find a little sentiment from my stash. This is loads of sentiments too. I only need a little one though. Oh, here we go. So which one? Do what you love. Mm. I'm thankful for. That's what I'm going for today. Rihanna Richards, I didn't know there was a Christmas message. <laughs> it ha our Christmas message has been referred to as like what the Queen does. Bless her heart. Um, Christmas message. So, obviously, I'm never going to be able to replace her message, but we have been doing it for a while and it's just, it's cool. I'm thankful for, can we do it up here? Let's just have a look. There we go. I will pop a nice gift in here for one crafter who comments underneath here. Beautiful Christmas message, I know. Totally from the heart, Karen. They totally are. They totally are. And it doesn't, it doesn't all sing and smell of roses. It tells you the journey for the last 12 months. The, the turmoil, the trials. We are honest about how the year has been, but we always talk about the future and how we always want it to be bright regardless. And, you know, as long as you have the love of your loved ones, your fellow crafters, that's all we really need in life. We don't really need much else. Also, obviously, we need our craft, glitter and glue and things like that, but you know what I mean. So that is that. I'll pop a lovely gift in here for somebody who comments underneath this video when I have gone off air. That is our last show of the year. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into a great big speech saying thank you so much for tuning in every single day and thank you so much for your comments and things like that because we do do our Christmas message. But I do need you all to know that we wouldn't be where we are today without any of you. You mean the world to us all. We are one big, happy, crafty family. We love to share the love of the craft. That's what it's all about. Stay connected, guys, over the Christmas period. Please do not be on your own. There will be other crafters who have... Um, loved ones that are out and about and not with them on that very special day stay connected i will be watching making sure you're all okay so have a fabulous one and just enjoy the moment that's what it's all about and then we'll bring on a new year next year have a good one guys and i will see you all very very soon love to you all take care love from tony tim and tom